So this is the palm of the left hand. Um, the first few parts I've printed for the hand. Um, I started with uh, the main big piece of the palm. It took about four hours to print this. Uh, it's quite interesting. It's got um, 15 tubes running through the whole thing. So th through from the wrist, you can actually just see them in the transparent print. Um, there's three tubes going down to each finger and three to the thumb. So it's quite a clever design. Um, there's holes in the uh, finger joints. They'll need to be drilled out. Um, I also dr drilled out the bolt holes, drilled them out to 8mm. Um, I did quite a bit of sanding in here to make to make it smooth. My printer is really not giving good results at the moment, so I'm getting some very rough edges. Um, same in here to sand in, in these sections here. And also sand down um, these separate parts so that everything is, it wants to be a nice loose fit, we don't want anything binding. Um, I'm also intending to paint all of these and the paint will add a little bit of thickness so we want them really loose to start with. These, these pieces here, again I think I'm suffering with my printer, um, when they came off the bed, they print as a pair like this and when they came off the bed they were literally stuck together um, and I had to had to snap them off, which is really quite difficult. But they they did break away quite cleanly. So these have to be drilled out to eight millimeters as well. But you have to go really slowly, be really careful with these because they look really weak on these parts here. And again, drill this one out as well. Same same issue. Be careful because they're weak. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with, with regards to the bolts. Um, the recommendation is to 3D print the bolts, but I, I tried printing the bolt for the neck on mine and the, it came out terrible. Um, when you print the bolt, it's got a very s small surface on the bottom, so you need to print it with quite a large brim. Um, mine were coming out and they were just slightly leaning to one side and got about halfway up and then just turned to a complete blob mess so I don't think there's any way I can print my own bolts on my printer um, the bolt themselves are not too much of a problem they, they do need to be a fairly precise length uh, I've got I've got three different length bolts here and, and none of them are the correct length um, so my plan is probably just to measure the, the required length and then cut the end of the bolt off with the Dremel, I think, um, if you can see there, the thread doesn't go all the way through the bolt, but I think I can cut some off the end and still have thread left. So I can cut these down. That's no problem. But the bigger problem is you can't get a nut on the end. You only get this um, small slot in here to, to get the nut in. So here I'm printing the index finger for the third time. The the last one was printing really well till about halfway through. The two middle pieces came unstuck from the bed, so that was quite unfortunate. The settings I changed on this print, I've increased the the brim. I had a five millimeter brim on the first print, and then on this one I've increased it to seven millimeters. That means the brims are really hard to see on this because they're transparent. The brims are actually merging together, they're overlapping each other. So I'm hoping that will help the whole thing stay together and stay stuck to the bed. I've also increased the bed temperature from 56 degrees to 62 degrees. And I've increased the hot end temperature from 84 degrees to 88 degrees. Um, when, the, when the last print was going down, the first few layers looked really lumpy, and I was wondering whether the temperature was too low. 
This one seems to be holding together. Okay, this is the index finger as it's come off the printer. It's all in one piece because of the the brims that were added. Um, that helped to hold it together. As I said, the first, the previous one I printed, um, these center pieces uh, come away from the bed in they sort of flipped up in this way um, with the the brims holding the pieces together it just gives everything just a little bit more adhesion to the bed um, I've got the next finger coming off the printer now um, the next stage with this one is just to clean those brims off um, just sand them a little bit um, I'm not sure if I'll assemble it first and then paint it or maybe put a coat of primer on it and, and then assemble it, I'm not sure. So one, one thing I am suffering from on this um, new Creality CR10 printer, the printer is superb, these parts are really coming out nice, but I'm suffering from stringing, you can't see it in this, I don't think you can see it, maybe you can see it a little bit. Yeah, I've, I've tried to dial out the, the stringing on the printer. I've I tried lowering the temperature, but I think that was a mistake because I started to get the the nozzles started to seem to clog up and the filament just wasn't coming through at the lower temperatures. So I put the temperature back up again. Um, the retraction setting seemed to be the biggest improvement, but I had to go right up to six and a half millimeters retraction. Um, I'm not sure how the retraction speed um, affects the stringing. I'm not sure if you should increase the retraction speed or lower the retraction speed. So if anyone could give me any advice on how I can get rid of this stringing, uh, please leave comments below. The next stage is to just clean these parts up a little bit, sand them a bit. Um, the pieces glue together, I need, I need to figure out which pieces glue to which pieces. Um, and then drill out these holes um, where the, the joints go. The, the holes have come out really clean but I will just run a drill through them and then use some three millimeter filament to create the hinges. These just literally peel off. The brim comes off really easily. easier if you got two hands. These are the fingers at various different stages. When they first come off the printer I give them a quick file uh, to s just smooth off the, the layers. Um, then I sand them with a medium grit sandpaper and then I sand them again with wet and dry paper. I then prime them um, with a high build primer which again helps to fill the layers in. And then finally they'll get painted white. Here I'm painting some of the finger pieces. I strung them on a line because I found um, putting them on a flat surface and spraying them with the spray paint was blowing them around and the paint was sticking to everything so this seems to work better although I'm going to need quite a few coats of paint. Here we have the thumb. I believe I'm putting these together correct. So this piece I've super glued together. Um, I did quite a bit of filing um, in this piece and on these sides and that is just now fitting nice and loose with no friction on it. But this piece here is really tight. Um, 
this joint here just doesn't seem to want to fit in. So I filed it loads already but I'm still going to have to file it even more. And then finally we have the, the tip of the thumb. And then this will all have to be painted. I've connected the first two um, joints for the first two fingers. Um, this one here I drilled through with a 3mm drill bit through both the finger and through the part in the hand. Whereas this one here I drilled through the finger with 3mm drill bit and through the hand with a 3.5mm drill bit. Um, this one feels a little too tight. You can see it, it doesn't fall down on its own. It's a little bit stiff, where in contrast this one is very loose, falls back down on its own, which is what we want, but this one is uh, a little loose, it's got a little bit of a wobble in it, it's a little bit too loose. So I think you need to drill these parts out in the hand with somewhere in between 3 and 3.5, so probably a 3.2 millimeter drill bit. For the next two fingers you've got these extra parts to the hand um, and we need to put an M8 bolt through here. I've got two bolts, um, an 85mm bolt and a 65mm bolt. You can see the 65 is too short and the 85 typically is just too long. I've measured across here and the ideal length is 75 so I'm going to chop 10mm off the 85mm bolt. So I've now got all the fingers on and the thumb um, and I've started to run the fishing line uh, down the th fingers th and through the tubes. Um, I've left probably six or seven hundred millimetres, probably more actually, probably about a metre of uh, length on that. Um, I've tied knots on the on the end so they don't pull through probably tie them both together as well so they don't slip around and super glue them to the tips. Um, I use three millimeter filament on the on the joints. Um, this is probably about as far as I'm going to go for now. Um, some of this is going to have to be reworked because I've tried pulling these strings and the fingers are not operating that well. Um, some of the joints are quite loose um, but others are stiff, so I think I'm going to have to find every stiff joint and uh, take the pin out, file it, or or redrill the holes. It might possibly because the pins might be slightly curved um, when they come off the roll, they they have a curve to them. That might be what's causing them to be tight. Uh, but they, I think they all need to be loosened up before we actually attach the servos. These these bolts, I so is the other side. Um, I did manage to get nuts in here. It's quite a bit of work. I I bought M8 half nuts, so they were half the width, so they could slot down this hole. But they're still too um, still too wide, so I had to grind them down with a Dremel to make them small enough to slot into that hole. Uh, but once I got them slotted in, then I could run the bolts through and I tighten them up. This bolt is slightly too long. I need to shorten that a little bit more. Um, whereas this one gets recessed in, this one doesn't. Um, probably can't see that. There's a, there's a small gap there. Um, so it probably doesn't matter, but just to get it to look a little bit better, I want that bolt in there a little bit further. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it for now. Um, I'll have to come back and revisit this hand and print the covers and glue the fingertips on. Okay, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon in the next video.